In this video, we'll have a look at the best WooCommerce subscription plugins that you can implement in your website today. Let's get straight into it. So the first on our list is our very own AOVUP subscription plugin. And with this plugin, we can offer simple subscriptions or variable subscriptions. We can even give our customers the option to make a one-off purchase or purchase the particular product they're interested in on a subscription plan, right? Where they can even choose the frequency as well. So they can say, for example, I want this subscription you can even tempt them as well so for example the one-off fee would be let's say it's $30 and if they choose to subscribe and save you can give it them for $25 for example right and then they can choose the frequency so they can say for example we want this product delivered every month or every two weeks or whatever the duration is so they can specify that as well and then in the back end they've got the option to manage their subscription not only that but it also works with physical or digital products we can even create a configurable subscription box with this plugin i'll leave a link on screen to that video showing you how you can set up a similar thing on your woocommerce store we can offer customers discounts and coming soon and by the time you're watching this video you should have the option within this plugin to allow customers to set up a payment plan all right, similar to this website here where we can see the price is 395. However, we can also, instead of paying it up front, we can purchase the payment plan where we pay X amount, right? And in the back end, you'll be able to define this period here as well. Another cool function of this particular plugin is that you've also got the option to allow customers to pay a deposit. Not only that, but it also supports rebilling. So in the event, that a subscription payment fails, then we can automatically follow up and try again with that subscription. We can also customize the subscription email. So for example, when someone successfully activated their subscription, we can automatically send them an email based on the action that they've taken, right? So when they've canceled, they've been renewed and so on. When it comes to trials, you can set up a free trial. You can also add a sign up fee, but I think what's also unique with this plugin is is you can also do paid trial, right? So for example, on our website, typically we'll offer a $1 pay trial where a customer can try our products and then we'll rebuild them in X amount of days, providing they don't cancel, right? Another cool feature that's up and coming is our cancellation flow. So that's currently in the process as well, right? So where a customer cancels, we can automatically ask them a set of questions as to why they've canceled. And then in the future, we'll give it an option to trigger specific actions based on what the customer selected. For example, they might say it's too expensive. And then in that case, you might want to offer them a 15% discount to try to keep that customer as a subscriber. So that's another cool and unique feature that's up and coming as well with this particular subscription plugin. Another thing which I think is quite cool with this plugin is that the fact that you can create um, subscription links, right? So essentially you can create a subscription plan and then you can use that link that will automatically add that subscription product to the customer's basket, right? And then all they need to do is enter in their information and then just check out and then they'll automatically be enrolled in that subscription. And another cool feature with this plugin is that we can synchronize the payment so we can schedule the payment for all customers to be on a specific date. And we can even prorate the first payment of that synchronized subscription. I'm not sure I mentioned, but we can also allow customers to downgrade or upgrade their subscription plan as well directly from their dashboard. So this is the AOV Up subscription plugin. Currently, it will cost you roughly $23 a month billed annually right at the time of recording this so as we keep adding more features that will probably increase in the future as well and there will be a free version coming out as well so i'll leave a link to all the plugins that i'll mention um, throughout this video in the description below but if you're interested just head over to aovup.com and go ahead and download the AOV Up subscription plugin. All right, so the next on our list is the Woo subscription plugin. And with this plugin here, we can create simple or variable subscriptions, right? We can offer free trials, right? However, we don't have a built-in option to offer paid trials. We can kind of hack the process together and do a free trial plus sign up free. You do get the option to allow users to manage their subscription and we can also synchronize their payments as well. 
Okay, so what I like with this plugin is you can purchase lots of different add-ons to further extend the functionality of this particular plugin. Depending on your need, it can get quite expensive over time as well. So for example, this plugin will cost you, let's say $279, right? So if you wanted to allow users to either purchase a product as a one-time purchase or subscribe and save, you'd have to purchase this plugin and you'd also have to purchase a separate plugin, which can cost anywhere from $800 plus, right? So when you start stacking all these different features on top of each other, it does get quite expensive. But if all you want is to allow customers to subscribe, whether to a simple product or a variable product, then this is a good option to consider. The next on our list is is a GIF WooCommerce subscription, right? And again, this plugin is quite similar to the WooCommerce plugin since that, for example, if you just wanna offer a simple subscription or even a variable subscription, right? Then this plugin should work well in that scenario. So we can add a sign up fee and we can also offer a free trial. But again, there isn't an option to offer a paid trial unless you hack together the free trial and the sign up fee. OK, and here we can see a list of a few supported payment gateways of a GIF. And this plugin in terms of US would have to do the conversion. So the price varies depending on the region, right? OK, so let's do a quick conversion to try to determine the price of this plugin in us the youth plugin will cost you let's say 252 dollars right or 53 dollars if we round it up okay so then the next on our list is this subscription plugin by web toffee Right, and again, it's quite a cool plugin. So it supports a simple and variable subscription. You can offer a free trial and a sign up fee as well. Payment method supported is it's Stripe or PayPal. You can offer discounts as well, and it kind of does the job. So if you just want to set up a simple or variable subscription, then again, this is a plugin for you to consider, right? If you want to offer that one-time payment option or subscription, again, this plugin doesn't support it currently. Now, the final plugin on our list is Sumo subscription if you're on a super tight budget then this is one to consider so one thing to consider when purchasing a plugin from code canyon is the typical business model of these plugins is to offer a one-time fee usually at a cheap price and the problem with that is as a customer you're getting a good deal however as a business it's not really sustainable so this was another popular subscription plugin right i think it even had more purchase than this one but again i don't know the details but if i was to guess i would say it just wasn't sustainable right so so the author ended up not maintaining this plugin and now it's been removed from the marketplace so not to say it will happen to this plugin but it's just something to keep in mind right um, but essentially it's a solid plugin right you'll be able to offer variable or simple subscription what's cool with this plugin as well is that it offers it allows you to offer paid trial if that's something you're interested in it can allow customers to upgrade or downgrade their subscription plan as well so depending on how you look at it, you could say it's a bargain, really, right? 